dedicate this video to people who are living in difficult circumstances. World Partnership Walk and Aga Khan Foundation are one of the organizations that help to improve the quality of life of people who are living below the poverty line. Please donate and support World Partnership Walk through our team, Ash Connections. Don't forget to join the Virtual Voyage Homecoming Celebration on December 6, 2020. Hello everyone! This is the segment, I Wonder, in which I share interesting questions with my possible answers. So, today's question is, I wonder, how does the brain work? You might be thinking that your brain is just a gray blob, but that is not true. If you think of a robot, all the coding and programming it gets to do something goes in its processing unit. Our processing unit is our brain, so it tells our body to do things in milliseconds. Today I'm going to tell you the three parts of our brain. The hippocampus, the PFC, also known as the prefrontal cortex, and the amygdala. The hippocampus is where our memories and facts are stored. Our hippocampus is kind of like a library. Example, if we are learning French, there's another memory shelf to store all the information or what we learn while we're learning French. Your PFC is the one that makes you reason, learn, and think. So when you're at school, you use your PFC. Your PFC is right behind your forehead and it isn't fully developed until you're 20. Your amygdala is your body's security system. Whenever it thinks something's wrong, it goes into the fight, flight, or freeze response. Fight is when you don't have any other option to run away and so you have to fight. Flight is when you run away from the situation and freeze is when you just freeze and don't know what to do. Sometimes your amygdala takes over your body and your amygdala and PFC can't work together. So when you're in a situation that you have to think and your amygdala takes over, you might want to take some deep breaths or listen to calm music to tell your amygdala that nothing is wrong and you can give the control to your PFC. Now, time for facts! About 75% of your brain is made up of water. You cannot live without your brain. And about 20% of the oxygen and blood go to your brain. That might not seem like a big amount, but if you think about it, your hand might only get 5%, and so your brain gets 20%. So now you know how important the brain is. I hope you liked this video and learned a lot from it. For more videos like this one, please subscribe to our channel, Connections to Build and to Build Well.